Hi, Steph from the BMW DIY Guy. My project today is the ECU Flash from Active Auto Work and Mike from Extreme Powerhouse. I'm really excited for this project because this is going to tune my car very specifically for the changes that I've made. Now, I have had the Active Auto Work Active 8 jump box installed, and you say, well, how is this different? Well, the jump box sits in between your ECU, which is your car's computer and your motor, and is essentially second guessing what the ECU is doing. An actual ECU flash is more efficient, it's faster, and more modifiable for what you want to do in your car and the specific changes that you've made. I'm really excited to do this. Now in prep, I've already taken my Activate out. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk through this process, and you'll see it's pretty simple. You just have to be careful as you do it. So let's start with the Simon 3 cable that I got from Active Auto Work, and I'll show you what that looks like, then we'll go out to the car. Okay, here's our Simon 3 from Active Auto Works. So, packaged very neatly, looks really good. Packed in our little felt bag. Open it up here. Ta-da! That's it. So you can see how it's going to plug into your computer through USB and then plugs into the OBD port for your car. So, the other thing it's going to do is it's going to register itself. The first time it reads your car, it's going to read your VIN and associate this Simon cable with your car. So it'll be customized and ready to go. So let's plug it in the laptop. Let's go out to the car. So out in the car, and I'll kind of show you the process that I've walked through, both what it takes to read the file when you see, because you're going to have to send what your ECO settings currently are off to Active Auto Work to be tuned. So I'll show you that process and then the flashing process as well. Though I'm not going to run the flash again because I've already done it on the car. So I have the Simon 3 cable plugged in. The first time that you run this software, it's going to register the cable. It's also going to associate it with the VIN on your car. So you'll see those screens as you go through. All I did was launch it and click Next. It'll read your laptop to make sure that everything here is, is what it needs it to be. Now, the other thing it's going to do is when it first starts here, you're going to see that it's talking to your car and it's going to, be, going to see if it can be able to read your ECU. Now, the first time I ran this, I actually had a problem where it couldn't read my ECU to start with. I reached out to Active Auto Work and they sent me a link for a new version of the software and didn't have any problem after that point at all. It was able to talk to my car and it worked perfectly. So, and you'll be able to tell because it'll say detected ECU type. It was able to read my ECU and everything's good. So if it detects it straight out, you're going to be okay. That's not going to be a problem for you. And in my case, I did have that little communications problem. New version of the software fixed it. So you click next. And this is the main screen you're going to be looking at. You've got a number of buttons, read ECU, program ECU, recover ECU, diagnostics, and so on. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to do the read ECU button. So the first time you launch this and plug it into your car, you're going to click the read ECU. It's going to save a file and it builds a file name based off of your VIN. And this is, it builds two files out. So save it to a folder here on your laptop and send that off to Active Auto Work and then they're going to tune it specifically for what they get out of this and send it back to you. Now, a couple of things. When you run your flash, which I'm going to simulate here, when you run your flash, Active Auto Works strongly recommends that your car is on a trickle charger and is, has its battery being maintained. They say that this process can take up to about 120 minutes. In my case, it took about 20, give or take, door to door. But you don't want anything bad to happen. It would be like running an update on your computer and halfway through turning it off. So avoid that. Also, I plugged my laptop in as well and, you know, and didn't just rely on the laptop battery because the same thing relies here. If your laptop battery dies through the process, you could be in real trouble. So make sure that your battery is on a trickle charger for the car, that your laptop is plugged in and your driver's side door is kept open because that'll keep your ignition turned on. So when you get, the car, when you get your flash file back, there's a couple of additional steps you're going to do. Now, the one thing I want to stress is that Active Auto Work has two instruction PDF files that you should read very closely on how to do this process. I'm going to walk through it at a high level, but make sure that you read through that and don't just blaze through this. So one of the first things you're going to do when you get your tuning file back is you're going to click on Diagnostics and there's a read coding data. This is going to save off a file of what your current coding is in your car. You save that file off because you're going to write that back to your car after you flash the ECU. There's a couple of extra functions in here I'll talk about in a moment and I'll come back. So you'll save your coding data and then you'll come out here to the program ECU. You click on that button. You select the file that Active Auto Works sent you. 
It'll walk you through the next couple of steps and then it's going to start coding your car. Now, that's the point where, where my car freaked out. I had all kinds of error messages. I was watching my, both of my displays displaying all kinds of error messages, which don't worry is perfectly normal because your, your car is basically having brain surgery while it's going through this process. So don't be surprised if you see all kinds of things going by, they'll straighten out and be just fine. The progress bar can be a little slow. It hung out, it hung at about halfway through for me for a while and then eventually finished out. Now the last thing, and again, refer back to the Active Auto Works instructions, but at the very end, there's a step where you turn your ignition off, still with the software running, you turn your ignition off, tell it that, that your ignition's off, turn it back on, it'll read it and you should be good to go. At that point, at the very end, you're gonna go into your diagnostics again. You're gonna write your coding data because you wanna write back all the coding in your car and you'll select the file that you saved. This is really important. Make sure to do it. Now, the other two things that, that they call out is the read the trouble codes. So in my case, it, I just clicked read. I don't have any because I've cleared them. If I did have any and I can click clear trouble codes and just to, so you can see the little progress bar that goes. They recommend um, reading and clearing any trouble codes that you have in your car because number one, you might have caused some while you did the ECU flash. And it's also good to start from a good clean baseline. Now on that same theory, there's this clear adaption data, this middle button here. Now you wanna click on that. Now your car will reset itself after 200 to 500 miles, but you've made significant changes in how your car is going to function. So you want it to start fresh right now. So hit the clear adaption data, clear that out. Once that's done, click close. You'll be back here to the main screen and you click close again. It really is that simple. And then just turn your car off, unplug your cable, unplug your trickle charger, close up the little door back in your trunk and put your laptop away and you're done. Okay, back inside and as you can see, we're all done. The process itself is really not that hard. You just wanna make sure that everything is all plugged in. The one thing that I made sure to do when I flashed my car is I actually didn't move. So once I had it all plugged in and set and ready to go and I clicked next and that progress bar started to go, I actually didn't move. The last thing I wanted to do was shuffle my laptop around or do something and pull that cable out, um, which would be just as bad as like if your car turned off or your battery died in your laptop while during, doing the flash. So as long as you get that done, you're going to be okay. So the benefits this is going to bring to your car really is tremendous considering it's gonna be tuned very specifically for your car, for the octane in your, in your area. For example, here in the Pacific Northwest, our premium is 92. From what I hear, California is 91 and the rest of the country is 93. So they're gonna be able to, to tune your fuel to exactly what is, what's set for your area. If you want to run, a, run E85 or something similar, make sure to talk to Active about that and, and for your setup that, on what you're going to do with your tune. But all in all, this is really simple and it's something that you're going to feel the benefits for every time you drive your car. I know I already do and it's really truly impressive. So. I appreciate your support. If you like what you've seen today, please click subscribe. It makes a huge difference for my channel. I really appreciate it. I do my best to answer any questions that come up and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.